what's up everybody it's Zonglore. today's video is going to be on juggernaut tanking and patch 5.92 in this video i'll show you how i place my utility points gear rank and stats aoe abilities and single boss priority abilities so let's jump right into it first things first this is how i place my utility points i take payback path carver and the match fall i take crushing fist and Sonic Wall. If you want to switch something out, Unshackling Rage is another great point to have. In the Heroic Tree, we have Three Passion and Hardened Defense. Also, another couple of good utility points if you need them are through Power and Consuming Rage. In the Legendary Tree, we have through Victory and Intimidating Presence. To me, Intimidated Presence is a must in PvE because your Saber Reflect lasts 2 seconds longer and you generate more threat. And as we know, generating threat is the name of the game for tanking. So, if you need to check out the Utility Points portion of this video again, please feel free to rewind and do so. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the gearing and stats. I'm just running with the standard 7 piece for tanking. As far as my relics go, I went back to the absorption and defense ones. Because with the damage reduction to tanking by 60%, yeah, it kind of made me tilt it. Okay, so the numbers you want to be shooting for in your shields around 20 and your absorb around 17. I'm just kind of messing around because I always have a lot of theories in my head and I just like to test them out. So, I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out for a much more in-depth look at your gearing. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about your abilities that you have as a tank. And then I want you to see all the nifty buffs that you get. You have your assault, which gives you damage reduction. You got your crushing blow, which is your AOE, and your retaliation, which gives you a defense chance. And when it comes to tanking, your crushing blow is going to proc your retaliation when you use your force screen you get a absorb damage barrier and when you use your smash melee and accuracy is decreased your ravage if my guy will do it you get defense chance increased your backhand is like your biggest threat building ability you have along with Crushing Blow and Saber Reflect, because Saber Reflect deals back single target damage. And if you're on a boss, it's a great thing to open up with because you'll be generating a lot of threat. So, I'm gonna talk about some of your other abilities really quick here. You got your Saber Throw, your Force Charge. You're always gonna use your Vicious Throw when it's available. You got your Single Taunt, and your AoE Taunt Threatening Screen which now places a damage absorption barrier on your allies for a short time. Your disruption is very important. You should know where it is, live it, learn it, love it. It's your interrupt. You have your CC breaker, which is your unleash. You got your oh crap button, which is your invisible, which reduces all damage taken by 40% for 15 seconds. I use vicious slash when I feel I have enough rage to play around with. Sweeping slash when it comes to multiple mobs you got your defensive cd saber ward which is a good one that increases melee and rage defense by 50 percent and absorption by 25 percent mad dash an amazing ability when you use it the uh path you're on increases your defensive chance by 100 percent so you can negate a lot of damage if you time your mad dash just right if a boss is shooting at you you have your enraged defense, which you get 12 stacks of. When you take damage, you get healed back up. Force choke, when you use it in this spec, it has no cast time, and you just cast it instantly, which is pretty nice. And you have your enraged, which gives you rage. You also have your assault, which you can use to get back rage if you need it, because doing some damage is better than doing none. When it comes to your guard, you always want to put it on the person that has the most threat in the group. If you're not for sure who has the most threat in the group, all you have to do is toss it on the healer first, and when you see somebody pulling off you, just simply toss it on them. 
You also have your Endure Pain. What that does is it gives you fake health. If you're in a group and you pop it, you want to let your healers know, hey, I'm running on fake health. They will thank you for it. And you also have your Force Push. Okay, since we covered the abilities, I'm going to be talking about some of the abilities that I use for AoE. You know, damage when it pops up. I had a ward I wanted to use, but I just totally slipped my mind. I don't know why. Maybe because it's late. Anyways, I like to use, uh, buff myself up here. Force of Habit. I like to use Force Charge, Enrage. I'll do Crushing Blow, Smash, and then a couple sweeping slashes and get my rage back and pretty much rinse and repeat. And I'll throw in Threatening Scream when I feel needed. I kind of treat tanking like DPS opening rotation because I really want to grab that threat and hold it the entire time. I don't want to go anywhere else. And if you like, you can always throw in a quick saber throw. So you can do something like saber throw, jump in, crushing blow, and rage, smash, threatening screen, use your assault for rage, and then if you have a big mob in the group, you can always pop your uh, saber reflect and reflect all the damage back to them. And just pretty much rinse, repeat, you know, when you feel you need to. And with the way we spec, Sweeping Slash does more damage now, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now we're to get into the nitty gritty here. The single target boss priority abilities. The way I have it set up is I pop my whole load at once, grab the eye on the boss, and hold it the entire time. I do so much threat with this opening priority ability system that I don't have to use taunt to hold the boss on me but you can use the taunt wherever you feel you need to your single target and your threatening scream is your AOE taunt so if you feel like you're really struggling to hold aggro for some reason or if you're new to tanking you can use those when you really feel you need to okay so I have my bar set up here for how I like to do it force charge backhand and rage crushing blow Saber Reflect, Retaliation, Force Scream, Smash, Ravage, Assault, and Saber Throw for Building Rage, or you can substitute it with Force Choke if you like. So, I'm going to give you an example here. And before people ask or comment, no, I'm not a clicker. I'm just doing this for my videos so I can go down the line here. Because I have gotten comments like that before. So, use my back cam, my Rage, Crushing Blow, Saber Throw, Retaliation, Force Scream, Smash, Ravage, Assault, and Saber Throw. And I'll throw in a taunt, you know, just because. Okay, and I'm going to pop my Force Choke just because. Got a little bit of Rage to play with. Assault. Grab my Smash. And I'm going to have so much threat on the boss right about now. I can just pretty much do what I want to do from here because, yeah. I'm going to have all the threat on the world on me, so... That's pretty much it. And don't forget, as a standard rule of thumb, if you're new to tanking, it's always good to face the boss away from the group. It's just a thing. So, I think I covered everything that I wanted to, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the description below. Also, I want to let you guys know that I made a Discord channel for those of you who would like to join and ask me questions. You can join at any time you like, and whenever I have a chance, I'll look and say, Hey, so-and-so asked this, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can, because it seems as of late, YouTube is not giving me my comments, and I don't like that, because I like to respond to you guys as quickly as I can. So if you like, the link for it is going to be in the description below. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, and then immediately hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.